what's up me dits and welcome to one of the special one-off videos that go up on Wednesdays today uh, we will be watching a movie I know special right haven't done that before on the channel hopefully it's received well so paradox a rusty lake film and game now the reason that I am posting this today is because on tomorrow's stream we're actually gonna be playing the game which is derived from this movie which by the way both the game and the, the film are available on Steam uh, the film is completely free you can uh, watch it in uh, the Steam video player which apparently was a thing I didn't know about that uh, but yeah and uh, Rusty Lake if you haven't heard of them before is actually a collection of games we will slowly be going through all of them uh, but this is their newest installment from uh, last year and I really wanted to check it out because it looks like an amazingly well uh, written detective story in a puzzle game and you know how big of a sucker I am for those so yeah um, I think that's a good enough introduction to what this is let's watch the movie spoopy special so yeah, that's the, uh, the logo it might be familiar to some of you if you have seen their games. They've, they have been around for a while. I don't want to say that they're a classic, but they've been doing uh, this sort of thing for years now. And uh, this is really an interesting way to present a game. You know, with a movie. Uh, on the same gaming platform that the game is. It's, uh, it's unique. It's kind of like... Uh, Black Mirror Bandersnatch on Netflix, you know, the interactive movie, which, by the way, really good, definitely recommend it, along with the entire Black Mirror series. But yeah, I'm gonna stop babbling. So we got a wallpaper. And it's live action, don't know if I mentioned that. This is a sexy man. You know, I'm a dude, but um, I, I, I know that a guy is good looking when I see him, so I'm gonna point it out, because he has a beard, and that beard is luscious. So he got knocked on the head and um, woke up in a room? Is that the premise? Or is this his office? It kind of looks like it could be his office. Looks like the kind of guy that would be working in an office like this. What, I mean, what do I mean by that? I don't know. I'm babbling. So he's... It's kind of like an escape room. That's what I wanted to mention, but I didn't. You know escape rooms, right? It's uh, it's an escape room turned into a game. It's really cool. I've actually never been in an escape room, even though there are a few here in Sofia. I should really go uh, do one. I love puzzles. I love puzzles. Make sure to drop a like for uh, for paradoxes. Hello. That is an interesting painting. Vandermeer. Okay. I do hope you're enjoying your stay. Who is this? Who this? New phone. Where am I? A place of relaxation. A place to empty the mind. Reflect in the past. And the future. What? Ooh, he has an accent. Nice, even better. Some men find this place hard to leave, and she is waiting. I don't know why, but it's giving me uh, very Sherlock Holmesy vibes. Rusty Lake, mental health and fishing. It's an interesting combination in a cigar. She. Not the blue vial. Is that a Matrix reference? Yeah, this is giving me some mad Sherlock Holmes. Like, modern Sherlock Holmes-ish. Kinda like, um... Holmes plus, uh... Poro. Blue Vial. Okay. Imagine being in a situation like this. How would you react? Let me know in the comments. 
I've got to get out of here. Probably initially I'm gonna be shocked, kind of like him. But I don't know. I'm a I'm a sucker for shit like this. Mm, look at him. Look at that beard. Right. Wait, do I actually know the actor? I think I might know the actor. And what is that accent? I can't put my finger on it. Alright. Blue box. I love how he had to put on his coat. Like, you just can't solve puzzles without the code, you know? A key. Alright. It's a little bit too smug, man. What the fu- Oh my god! <laughs> Jump scare! Now I can put it in the tags, get more views. A box of matches. I don't know, there's just something very obscure that just, at least for me personally, really drags me into stories like this where everything is just so neatly organized. Like you open a drawer and there's just one object in the middle which is perfectly placed and centered. Kind of like the dead fish. Don't know what that does in a drawer. Probably smells like shit. <gasps> what is that? Kind of reminds me of the... Um, I mean, it's a cube, but initially, I don't know why my brain uh, made a relation to Dredos. Hell yeah, alcohol. I'm sitting here, dude. If I was him, I'd just pour all the bottles all at once and just sit down on the couch and have a fun time. Okay. Wow, who does that? It's not like a rat, either. It's like deliberately cut. Polly want a cracker? Hello? Doesn't like parrots. Okay. I had a parrot when I was um, a small child. Alright. What the heck, oh man? What are those, actually? I can't make out a single object. There was, like, animal, human? What is that? Like, organs or limbs? Ooh, is that a camera? It's an oddly shaped camera. Dusty photograph. Let me call it. It's gonna be the woman. <gasps> it, it, what? It's him and the woman? So does he... I, I guess he knows her then. The Vanda something. That is a big book. You can kill someone with that book. It's probably what he got hit with. Whoa. Okay. It's another cube. They kind of look like Dredos, don't they? How do you know that's where it goes? And how do you know it goes like a little bit sideways? Yep. I also like to stare at myself in the mirror. What are we looking at? Are we looking at the lamp? What's hap- Wait, what the- Um... Okay. Cut. There's a glitch. <laughs> not expect that. The fuck was that? Oh my god. That doesn't happen in actual escape rooms, I hope. Uh, that was... That's a jump scare. Now I can really add it in the tags. Don't worry, man. Just take some alcohol. Trust me, it makes things better. For a little bit. Alright. How is that thing on? 
That should not be on. I didn't actually notice if there's... Oh, there's another symbol. I didn't actually notice if there was like any supernatural tags associated with this. But I guess there are. Unless it's hallucinations. However, it doesn't see what... And that is actually a screenshot from the game. That is awesome. That is so cool. That's how the game looks. So we're actually gonna play as this dude tomorrow. I'm excited. Look at him. That's a fancy man. What the... Was that a person with a deer head? Is she locked? What's... Hello, woman. So what, is she going to be standing behind him? Is that like an actual door that got open? Oh my fucking god, it is. Even in jump scare, hold on to your panties, ladies and gentlemen. Just tackle her. Grab the giant horns on the wall and tackle her. Shriek! What? Okay. That is a parrot on steroids. I would run. Wait, what? Parrots don't lay glass cubes, they lay eggs. Do they actually lay eggs? I'm not aware. <laughs> but they should, right? there. But Why am I talking about this? Alright, puzzle solved, finger guns. Whoa. I guess it's not a Matrix reference because green is new, but maybe it's inspired. Why is it glowing? So, not the blue, not the green, because they're bad, so red. Take the red pill, Neo. I mean, it seems simple enough, right? But is it? Is it a trick? What if it's a trick? <laughs> that sound was awesome. Plump! Nope, well, there we go. Poison ingested. Achievement get. Yep, that's poison. That's definitely poison. They're probably all poison. <coughs> oh my god, dude, you okay? Dude, quickly restart from the chair. Oh, wait. There is no checkpoint. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I know not to drink the red vial tomorrow. I'm gonna go for green or blue. Probably blue. Quickly! Down it with some alcohol! What the fu- I don't... I don't even wanna know. I don't wanna know. I would be concerned not smiling. <laughs> like, I can deal with external wounds and stuff like that, like even chopped off limbs. But like, stuff that... Like, happen on the inside or from the inside out? Mm, not about that. Just not about that. Okay. Unlock. Did we do it? A forest? Well, that's peculiar, isn't it? This is purgatory, I'm calling it. It's my plot predictions. If, if you haven't already, leave a like on this video for demons. And, um... And supernatural shit. You know, I love disappearing rooms. So, he's in a forest now. Good. 
Oh, I'd probably get concerned at this point as well. Because that shouldn't be happening. What the f- that is the raven man. That is a man with a raven for a head. With a head raven. Finally, we meet, detective. Who are you? <laughs> Have you made the right choice? I did. Did you really? I mean... I got out. You can't escape the boundaries of your mind. Oh my god, this is getting like deep. Of your actions. And neither can she. Who is she? Hey! The... Excuse me, I only thought he had the, the head of a raven. How'd you fly? You cannot escape the consequences of your actions? Alright. Now, now I'm sure, I'm sure that was, that was teleportation right there. I'm going to call it. I'm going to say that was teleportation. That is majestic. Holy crap. Dude, this must have had quite the budget. You know? Because that doesn't look like a real castle. Um. Um. What? No. 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 Oh my. No! Well then. That's fucked up. Even though I don't think she was real. Detective V, you okay, man? What is that? Cool, another cube. It's a black box from a from a plane that crashed in the lake. Nope, it's demonic and good. Is that another screenshot from the game? Yes, it is. Wait, no. Wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah, It absolutely is. Oh, get it? He's in the bo- Oh, that's fucked up. He's still in the box. Damn. Well, yeah. I- I-, I like, it's short. You know, I give it that, but that was nice. I really like the- the effort they put into it. And I guess it's not like a prom well technically it is a promotional thing, but regardless, it's good. I liked it. And uh, I feel like maybe maybe there's some hints in this that are gonna help us in the game tomorrow. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. There you go. There's a link if you want to check out uh, the game. But uh, yeah. Even though, even though it's uh, like a film, I'm gonna wait till the credits roll out, just like I always do, you know? I just appreciate that, uh, you know, people make the stuff that I make content of. I just appreciate it. So yeah, it's, uh, I didn't know it had supernatural aspects to it, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. I don't know, I hope you dudes are excited. Uh, I've been meaning to play the, the Rusty Lake uh, games for a while now. And, you know, last last Sunday when I was uh, figuring out my schedule for this week, I was just like... This week is the week. Now is the time. I'm doing it. No animals were harmed in the making of this film. I love how you just have to say that. You just have to put it there nowadays. Okay. And that was it. So, hope you dudes enjoyed, leave a like on this video, and definitely keep your notifications peeled for tomorrow's stream where we will be playing the game. 
Paradox Cube Escape is how it's actually called Cube Escape Paradox and this is Paradox a Rusty Lake film uh, so yeah thanks a lot for watching literally this time uh, leave a like if you haven't already all the usual stuff is always down below in the description subscribe button bell icon join button twitter discord you know the shtick and that's gonna be that for today see you tomorrow my dudes bye bye